How can we expect to have a good neighbor policy with South America? Will they blow whistles like that? <sighs> Hey, Woody. Hey, Woody. Come on, high octane. Get out of the well. No, no. No work today. Too tired, too tired. Is that so? Well, we'll see about that. Oh, good morning. Con todos mi corazón, with all my heart. Boy, you never settle for less, do you? Hey! Oh, no! Lock it up! She's terrific. How'd you get her? Oh, I don't know, Tubby. I guess I'm just catnip to women. Well, I can't understand it. I tell them everything you do, and all they do is just laugh. Oh, that's very good technique. Always keep the lady laughing. Did you ever try to kiss a girl with her giggles? Uh-huh. With the hiccups, too. In which case, you choke them nine times and then kiss them while they're trying to get their breath. Haven't you ever heard a gentleman never discuss ladies? That's one advantage about being a mug. Don't pay attention to Sir Galahad. He's only a hermit when he hasn't got a girl. And I got a girl. And the sweetest girl in this town, too. She's lovable. And she's true. <laughs> about as true as a $2 cornet. Yes, sir. She's about as true as a $2 cornet. What have you got to say? Say? Oh, thanks. Thanks for what? Thanks for Rosita. You say that to me after all we've been to each other. After we worked in every oil field from Bali Bali to Tulsa, Oklahoma. I've forgiven you everything you've done in the past. But this, this is the end. Now, Tex, now, Tex, remember what I did what? to you in Panama? Tex, take it easy. Welcome to Ballad Breakfast, come and get it. Never mind trying to fix it. I'll borrow one from Woody. Okay. Hey, what goes on here? Since when are you the field superintendent? Well, I'll do till he gets back from Tampico. All right, if you must know a little man, I'm bringing in a gusher. Listen, if you shoot that charge, you wreck my well. Our casing's on over 20 feet apart. Well, that's tough, Tex, but it happens to be I'm drilling my well, not yours. Listen, you crazy fool. You only wrecked two wells for nothing. The company will throw you out of here on your neck. You'll be blackballed, Woody. You'll never get another job. If I get a $2,500 bonus for bringing in the first gusher, I don't want another job. Get that nitroglycerin out of here. Or go on home. Go on, take it away. Get out of here. I'm not going until you pull go that. Go on, get out as well. Wait, that's nitroglycerin. Don't. How many is that? Nine. I ought to do it. Let me have the lead wire. Okay. All right, let it down. Get out of here. Woody. Woody, now wait a Get away. Woody. Here goes for 2,500 bucks or nothing. What you... I'd have bet a million bucks that charge couldn't miss. Well, this is the end. I've stood for your craziness for five years. And now I'm going to take it out of your hide. Hey, thanks, thanks. Look at your well. <laughs> Look at that. You tried to shoot your well, you brought in mine. <laughs> well, that's swell. Tex, I'm tickled to death. We're partners, aren't we? Sure we are. Sure we're partners. Sure we're partners. <laughs> yeah, you're the operator and the owner of Rosita, and I'm the man that gets the $2,500. Oh, no, Tex. <laughs> Set him up. 
What are we having? Will you buy? Uh, let's shake dice for the first one. No, thanks. I'll use my own. I'm sentimental about dice. Low man has the honor of paying for the drinks. Ha-ha! <laughs> well, three stingeree. More. Just got 2,500 bucks for bringing in a gusher. I didn't catch the name, but I heard the amount. <clears throat> Here's the friendship. For a dance. Can't. They're waiting for somebody. Oh, come on. I saw you first. Let's grab a quickie before my pals butt in. Will they call in? Well, they always have. Well, then what are we waiting for? I understand your friend had a stroke of luck today. <laughs> yeah, Tex had a stroke of luck. And Woody almost had a stroke of apoplexy. Oh, swell music, isn't it? Well, there goes another buck to the one-armed bandit. Rico, give me some change. But I was dancing with a fat gentleman. Don't call him fat, sugar. It hurts his feelings. He's a stylish style. Anyway, he only fights my preliminary bouts. Now, this is the, uh, the main event. What happened to Squire Flint? Why, oh, I gave him a dance with my girl. Your girl? Oh, this'll never do. Now we'll do a little dancing. Come on, honey, let's go. No, oh, no, you're coming with me. Oh, no, she's Oh, yes, yeah, she is. Wait a minute. What do you guys think I am, a rotary drill? Oh, I'm sorry. Really, I'm very sorry. Come on, sit down. I'll buy you a bottle of beer. Beer? Come on, sugar. I'll buy you a case of champagne. Champagne. A waiter. Waiter. <clears throat> champagne. You're gorgeous. Huh? Uh, well, uh, you know, uh, down south where I come from, uh, down on my pappy plantation, boy, you love my pappy fine old southern gentleman. Well, down south, when we love a woman, we put up on a pedestal. We die for her. Go ahead and love him for a minute and see if he won't die. Uh, what part of the south are you from? South Brooklyn. I stopped off in Brooklyn on my way to Havana. You did? Say, you ever been around the Brooklyn Navy Yard? Have I? was the last little destroyer they launched. Well, say, I'm glad to know you. My name's Woody, Woody Davis. Hi, you Woody. Imagine hitting you here below the tamale belt. <clears throat> oh, yes, yes. Um, uh, Havana, this is Tex. Uh, he's my assistant. I understand he cleaned up today. How much bonus did you pay him? Well, and how he paid me. And I still got $1,283 left. Oh, the wine, the wine's here. Oh, that's mighty sweet of you, Tex. Three bottles of wine, that's good old Tex. You know, nothing's too good for his friends. May I? Yeah, you may. Yes, I, I remember one time when Tex and I were drilling oil down in there. Where was that, Tex, when I bought the two cases of champagne? Do you remember that time? Silenzio, silenzio. Signoras y señores. Tonight I have a great surprise for you. Presenting for the first time our new singing hostess, the girl from Havana. See you later, boys, and stay away from those slot machines till I get back. Yeah. 
amigo, mi amigo. Give me an ear and you should hear about a senorita, sweet chiquita, there's no one sweeter in all of South America, no. Don't try to kill sheep on my ranch. Lay off the little lamb. Look, this is a neutral port, ain't it? Who asked you to take all the women into protective custody? Now, Tex, you're a nice guy, and I like you, so I'll tell you what I'll do. Before I start my blitzkrieg, I'll give you a chance. We'll roll the dice for it. And what would you do if you won, huh? <laughs> you're broke. <sighs> tell you what I'll do. One roll. hundred bucks against the watch and her. Oh, I don't know. I'd only have to change the engraving. Well, you don't have to take the engraving off. I'll buy it back from you for a hundred the first payday. Look, wise guy, if I win, that watch is mine for keeps. Just to show you what a patsy you are for a pretty pan. Okay, it's a deal. All right. High man shoots. Shoot. Dice be good to me. He loves it. Snake eyes. <laughs> I got his watch. Look, <laughs> I got his watch. Rico. Lisa one? Well, that's all, lover boy. The party's over. Goodbye and bad luck. Hey, wait a minute. It's a shame to lose a keepsake like that. I'll take you to another roll for the watch and 500 more against this bracelet. 500 bucks? That's what I said. Well, how do I know it's worth that much? Even with me in it? Without you in it. Rico! Coming. What can I hock this bracelet for? I wouldn't give you a cent. A cent more than $800. 800 bucks, and I'm tossing it in for five. You want to cover the bet? Listen, lady, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. My luck lately has been something you ought to take out and bury. All right, shoot. You're faded. Let me heat him up for you. Oh. Now shoot fast before they cool off. Oh, gusher, come back to me. Oh, 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 oh. Weed, weed. Take it oh, with the rest of it and go while it's still hot. Come on, shoot the works. Nothing doing. I never thought to fail. When they're long on bright, they're short on nerve. Oh, yeah. Come on, shoot. Oh, oh, oh this is everything. Now, yeah. what is it? It's a natural. <laughs> oh, Viva Havana. Oh, baby, you don't know what you've done for me. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He's on my dice. Wait a minute. Take I'll question. show you. There you are, why you dirty double cross low down. Wait a minute, Cook, Texas, Texas, on me. I am your best friend. I'm not making it. Now, wait a minute, back. You know I wouldn't use Cook. 
Well, hello. Strange in town, aren't you? All right, Tex, you asked for it. Stick around, I'll be right back. Watch by that chiseling little. You shut up! Get out of here! No, absolutely not. I would not release those men for all the oil companies in the world. A thousand times, no. Oh, stop being a centipede, will you? I need those men. But they are international hoodlums. They destroy the peace between our countries. Certainly they do. But look, they're also the two best oil drillers in this or any other country. I'm not interested in oil companies. Naturally not. By the way, how's that 16-cylinder limousine running now? Uh, now I am insulted. It's about time. Come on, when are you going to let my men out of your booby hatch? Only if they leave town. That's a deal. You let them out and I'll have them on their way to a new field in no time. Very well, but if they come back, I will deport them and you. If they come back, I'll deport myself. Hey, Woody. Woody, look. Whoa! Hey, it's about time you got here. Yeah, what held you up? Nothing, nothing at all, except having to crawl on my belly. <laughs> I'd like to see that. To keep you two cutthroats from being deported. Well, it's all squared now, isn't it? Yeah, it's all squared. Oh, that's fine. Thanks, old pal, old pal, old pal. There'll be a truck here in the morning to take you to La Dessa Jungle. La Dessa? That's no bargain. I'd just soon stay in jail. Hey, you gave him one old pal too many. Well, you can take your choice. You can either drill for oil in La Desta jungle, or you can rot in jail. Make up your mind. Okay, St. Patrick, you win. We go to the jungle. Good. Your girl will be on the truck waiting for you right in front of the jailhouse tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's the matter with getting out of here now? Hey, take it easy. Relax. Get a good night's sleep. And I'll know right where you are. Yeah, but I can't... Hey. Hey, sweetheart. Yeah? How are we ever going to get our dough away from that dame if we can't get at her? That, at the moment, I don't know. Let's rest. Yeah, yeah, let's... Hi, you fellas. I brought your toilet already. Oh, uh, hello, Tony. Well, see, so you got your same rooms. <laughs> you know, we ought to have Woody's picture gallery down here. Rosita's curling up a little around the edges. Hey, we got transferred to La Dessa Jungle. Oh, I like jungle. You would. Hey, Tubby. Yeah? You remember that girl we were with last night? <laughs> what do you mean, we? Well, anyway, listen, I want you to do something for me. Okay. Well, I'm against it, but uh, I'll do it as usual. <laughs> Make so much noise. Listen, brother, you don't have to tell me to be quiet. All right, sweetheart, shove off. Hello, 
lay off. Well, I like your type. Let me buy you some champagne, huh? All right, but as far as the platter goes, I prefer good American crude oil to that vodka stuff. <laughs> Waiter, champagne. Find her and tell her a gentleman wants to see her. Hey. Tell her it's about money. <laughs> That'll bring her. Pardon me, friend. Gentleman? Where is he? I'd like to see one for a change. Excuse me. There he is. Uh, I've got a little unfinished business over here. Oh, it's you. What are you doing out of storage? Never mind that. Where's my watch? I can see right now what kind of girls you're used to running around with. Keep your shirt on. It's locked in Rico's safe with your friend's dough. Well, then you... Gee, I guess there's nothing much I can say. Thanks is a pretty good word. I read it once in a dictionary. I guess you think I'm the world's champion heel. Hardly, but you got a pretty good start. All right, Junior. You can come out of the corner now. Mama isn't going to scold anymore. So you know, Havana, you're all right. Hey, if you could do a little uh, safe cracking, get that dough out of the safe, we could have that bottle of champagne we missed last night. The lady is drinking with me. Oh, go away, you bother me. You better go, kid. I can handle this. Don't worry, my pet. These Americans, they're all cowards. Seem to hurt at all. <laughs> <Didn't I? laughs> Hello. I I didn't get a chance to thank you for dancing with me last night. See you were swell. You're pretty good yourself, Tubby. You really mean that? Aren't you kidding? I think you're swell. Oh gee. Tubby. Oh, yeah. Tubby! Oh. Young man, you've just kicked a reasonably promising career right in the center of the pants. Have had kind of a run of hard luck, Mr. Harrigan. From now on, I can... From now on, your hard luck is going to be your own. You're no longer with this oil company. And if I have any influence throughout the world, you're not going to be with any other. No, I was supposed to be a saintly character. I thought I came down here to drill oil wells. Well, it's not worth it to us. If I had the time, I'd explain in detail on your service record just how much trouble you've caused us. However, this should cover it. If you had the time. I don't suppose there's anything I can say or do. Oh, yes, there is. You can get on that boat. It leaves in an hour. And I've given my word to the police that you'll be on it. Pick up your transportation on the way out. Fired? Yep. Blacklisted, too. And you float her out of the country. You had it coming. I suppose you're right. I flew Tubby's body home on the clipper. Well, he always did want to ride in a plane. It might 
my hands on that Russian, they'll be flying another long box out of here. That'll do Tubby a lot of good now. I suppose I better go through the motions of getting on the boat. Yeah, you ought to get on it and stay on it. You're about as welcome around here as the bubonic plague. You don't have to rub it in. What do you want me to do, give you a medal? You too, huh, Tex? Wait a minute. Where are you going? Doesn't seem to matter very much. Got any dough? I'll get along all right. Missed the boat? No, oh, the boat missed me. Look, Rico, I know what you told the cops, but you can come clean with me. Where can I find that Russian? Maybe he's hiding. Okay. If you find out anything, let me know, will you? I'll be at the Peseda Hotel. You betcha. I don't like him, too. Going someplace? Oh, hello. Rico, bring me a cup of coffee, will you? Why don't you take a tip from a famous escapist and head for home before you get hurt? Offhand, I can think of three reasons. Missed my boat, can't swim, I have any home to go to. I guess you're too young to get into the poorhouse. Well, I'm afraid I'm a little too well dressed at the present. <laughs> that would be something. The best dressed man in the poorhouse. <laughs> Look, Havana. I've got a ticket order. Why don't you take your own advice and grab the next boat? All you have to do is sign your name. I've missed too many boats already. Get nowhere fast around a place like this. Unprotected girl hasn't got a chance. A girl with a decent voice and a good left hook can get along anywhere. Well, I... I guess I better be going. See you later. I hope. Hey, why don't you look where you... I found that Russian. Where? Never mind where. But I don't know what to do about it. We'll go and tell Woody quick. Sure, so he can tangle with him and get himself killed. It'd be perfect, wouldn't it? Maybe you're falling for Woody, eh? Who, me? Why, of course not. Well, if you don't want to go and tell him, stay here and argue with yourself. Me, I've got to go and get ready for tonight's fights. Nobody's here. Well, hello, Havana. I saw that Russian. Where? On a truck belonging to the International Supply Company. Where are they located? Someplace in the warehouse district. Thanks, Savannah. That's all I want to know. Be careful.
drop that gun. Dead. Get in the office. You, uh, you'd better get rid of the late Mr. Drano. You fight for fun, or you make it a business? He killed a friend of mine. Oh, yes. It's the oil driller. I heard about it. What's your name? Davis. The man Harrigan fired today. You know everything, don't you? Practically. What are you going to do now? Well, it depends on that gun in your hand. I think perhaps I could use you. After all, you have no place to go but jail. Doing what? His old job, guarding supply trucks into the jungle. What kind of supply? General merchandise. Flour, rice, ammunition. I saw Drenow putting it in the rice sacks. You saw nothing. Understand? Let's quit kidding. It's a Latin American standoff, and you know it. You've got me, and I've got you. Now, let's take it up from there. What's your proposition? Merely to have you deliver some merchandise. What kind of merchandise besides bullets? Machine guns, hand grenades, automatic pistols, rifles. You know the political situation here. Yeah. I don't suppose it makes much difference who kills who. How much does job pay? Thousand dollars a trip. But if anything happens, you're the GOAT. We have a fine, big, legitimate business here. If any contraband is found, you assume entire responsibility. Get it? And what happens when it gets through? There's a gentleman by the name of Lazare that has a strange habit of raiding our warehouses. It's an unfortunate loss. Now look, Mr. Uh, Court. I won't have anything to do with this. The Americans up the line will be in danger. And you're the only American that will be in danger. Lazare doesn't hurt anyone, unless they're silly enough to make a fight of it. All right. What have I got to lose? I'll take it. Perhaps I should warn you that uh, the nationalist group, if they get hold of any of the gun runners, have a nasty habit of standing them up against a wall and shooting them. I'll still take it. Down out of that truck. Start walking. Who paid you to smuggle these cartridges? Please, General. I did not know there were cartridges in those sacks. Who paid you? I do not saw him before. He talked like a Russian. Como se llama, hombre? He did not tell me his name, but he gave me this money to put the sacks in my carata to take to my poor little house beyond the barranca. All right, all right. Take them out. The General! General! Was there? I just stolen one of my trucks and killed the driver. Never gave us a chance. The first thing I knew, the driver was dead and the truck was heading for a ditch. Where did this head? About 30 miles up the road toward Odessa. Well, come on, come on. Break out that trick army of yours before he gets away. Come on, I'll show you the exact spot. Just a minute. I have discovered something more serious than a raid on your truck. Not to me, you haven't. I have discovered that Lazier is getting his ammunition from my own district, smuggled out to him by my own citizens. There. 45 automatics. I see those bandits use no 30-30 squirrel rifles. Then, what does he want with 45 automatic shells? I got it. They fit machine guns. Machine guns? 
If Brazil has machine guns, he will have my poor country at his mercy. And you'll be a dead dictator. Until I find out who the traitors are, no trucks of any kind will leave town. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. You freeze all traffic, you'll wreck my company. If we can't keep our supply lines open, we can't operate. Between the safety of my country and your business, I have but one choice. Listen, gentlemen, back in the States, I did a hitch on the border patrol. I think I can stop this contraband without freezing the town. Oh, as a military strategist, I am interested. Well, it's very simple. You block all the roads leading out of town except one. Give me a guard on that road, and I'll search all the traffic. Uh, all right, I will consider it. Well, don't consider it. Do it. Nice thinking. Oh, you're telling me. They're throwing a fence around this town. Oh, I knew there'd be a catch to this job. The next move will be a house-to-house -house search. We better hide this stuff somewhere. Manuel, where do you live? Only so far as you can throw the rock, senor. It looks like you're gonna have a nest of machine guns in your hair. Or maybe better put them in the bed to cover them up like Manuel take his siesta, you know? That still doesn't get him out of town. I'll have him out of here by noon tomorrow. Looks like we're gonna have a couple of minutes. Find nothing? No, it's all right. Go on, see, Biscuit. Oh, hello. Well, at least you're not in jail. What happened to the Russian? Why, uh, I'll see up at the gate. And he's not working there anymore. Matter of fact, he fell down on the job. I'm doing it now. Watch out, you don't follow him any farther. I've been so busy lately, I didn't think I'd have a chance to thank you for the tip and to say goodbye. Goodbye? Yes, you see, uh, see, I'm, I'm leaving for a new station up in the jungle. I'll be gone for several weeks. Uh, see you later, Havana. Sure. Hi, Woody. Well, uh, you guys got back from the jungle pretty quick, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, we, we had a little hard luck. How's it with you? Oh, fine, fine. I got a job in spite of Harrigan. I'm nursing this truck. Oh. Say, you boys really look them over, don't you? Oh, we don't miss much. Just like the old days of the Border Patrol, huh? Remember? Yeah, <laughs> sure. Come on, get down off there. Oh, stopping a funeral, huh? What do you want to do, make sure the guy's dead? Carrying things a little far, isn't it, Tex? How'd you like it if you were the corpse? I'd like it a lot better if you were the corpse. <laughs> hey, let him through! All right, go ahead. Everything's okay. All right. So long, Woody. Well, good luck. So long, Tex. See you later. Don't let anybody put anything over on you. What a chance. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> All right, get those guns out. Pronto. See this man before? Si, senor. That's the man who paid me. I go now? Yes, but we where we can find you. Si, senor. Come here. Is this him? That's him. What was his name? I don't know. I only saw him twice. I don't know nothing. They come all day and all night. I, I never ask questions. This man was smuggling guns and ammunition to Lazier. If you hear anything more about him, let me know. See, si, Senor General. See. Si. I found him in the river with a bullet hole in him. Just for good measure, I suppose. Now, I wonder who could have done a thing like that. He was a gun runner, shipping contraband to Lazier. 
How do you know? Karina told me. And they're looking for everybody he was tied up with. You'll be next. Sometimes I'm kind of hard to find. So long, Rico. And forget what I told you. Sure. Things like that go right in one ear and come out nowhere. Everything get through all right? Work like a charm. Drive around the back and unload. Well, this is where we live for a while. Come on in and have a drink. Cozy little spot. Yeah. Oh, this is the Vera's country. Well, this is quite a hideout. Sit down. Where does he stay? Up a tree or under a rock? Well, the routine is for us to pay our respects to his sweetheart. Then he shows up like magic. Well, let's get going. Now listen, Davis. Lazare is insanely jealous of that girl. I want you to remember this is business. Well, it's business. I guess we got time for a couple of drinks. That's Cheetah. Better watch your step. Your Sounds like a parakeet. Get out of my sight before I scratch your eyes out. Go, go, go! Ah, you, the great master court with some new excuses. Begin lying. Well, Cheetah, you better get word to Lazare that the things are here. Oh, you darling! Yeah, yeah. Oh. Now, 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 quit it, quit it. Oh, Nazar will hug you himself. No, uh, not if I can help it. Uh, Cheetah, this, uh, this is Woody Davis. Hello? Drenna was prettier. What happened to him? Tangled with Woody. Hey, pipe down. Well, that's all right. Cheetah doesn't think you're grown up unless you've killed your man. I like you. Yes. I like you very much. Do you like me? Oh, you can see he does. He, he's yeah. crazy. He's, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, don't you think you better get that messenger started? Yes, I will send somebody after he gets back so he not be followed. You have dinner with me tonight, no? Uh, no. I do not invite you. I invite him. You have dinner with me tonight and I will sing for you, huh? Cheetah, if Lazare finds out you've had dinner alone with a man, he'll, he'll beat you to death. All right, then I will invite other people. Lazare never beats me in public. I will invite Mr. and Mrs. Hewitt from the oil company. Those old sour pusses. Maybe that will make everything perfectly like you say Sunday school. And after they all go home, we gonna have a quiet talk together, huh? Just you and me? Well, uh, I'd like to, Cheetah, but uh, I've had an awfully busy day and I'm kind of tired. I... Oh, then you must rest. Oh, you, you lie down in the shade. I will go and get some cold wine for you. Maria Dolores! What do we do now, a sneak? Oh, no. no. If she thinks she's insulted, there's nothing she won't do to get even. You be nice to her. But not too nice. Oh. Here. Oh. Do you want some? Thank you. Yes, I'd love it. Uh, the tired man, you want some too. But... When we are alone later, the musicians will go away and play very small. Play very small now for all of me. For real harmony, give me moonlight on the Wabash every time. Do you sing, Mr. Davis? Only in the bathtub, Mrs. Hewitt. Will to be here long, Davis? Oh, I don't know, Mr. Hewitt. I'm just sort of uh, looking around. Well, might fix it up for you to work part-time for me. I'm with the American Oil Company. Yes, I know you are. So was I, but Harrigan fired me. Oh? What was the trouble? Oh, I don't know. I guess I was a little too handy with my dukes. Harrigan's a good fellow. A little impulsive, but put his heart's in the right place. Henry, it's way past bedtime. Don't you think we'd better be going? Just when I begin having a little fun, you put me to bed. Oh, I have a new song. I'd like to sing it for you now. Huh? Muchachos, play querido. Querido, violin play. Hear what they say, lover. They tell you to discover heaven. Here in my arms, music sweet whispers low. Kiss me and then. Kiss me 
again. Please be my querido. Now the music is sighing. Time is flying, lover. This is the night. Carry mucho, 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 muchísimo. Won't you give me, give me, give me, give me one kiss more? I'll go bravo, 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 bravissimo. I love you so. Querido, tell me you care. Querido, say you will share. Heaven, while the music is playing, my heart keeps on saying, this is the night. Henry, we really must be going. She wasn't singing to me. You apparently thought she was. Come, Henry. Oh, please don't go yet. Good night. Good night. Well, uh, thanks for the dinner, Cheetah. We, uh, we've got to be going. Oh, I'm so sorry you go so soon. I have lots more songs I want to sing for you. Lazar is down at Vargo's Rancho, two miles down the river. Splendid. We'll get started right away. Come along, Woody. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Woody must not go. Woody, stay here with me. Well, I, uh, no, uh, I'd uh, like to, Cheetah, but uh, you see, I have a lot of work to do down at the warehouse. Savvy? Start getting that stuff ready for Lazare to pick up. Right. Oh, my soldado! Soldado? Listen, I'm not your soldier or anybody else. As a matter of fact, I'm a piece at any price. And now you get out of here. Don't not be afraid. Nobody will know. Come on, beat it, will you? I don't think you want Chief here. Oh, how'd you ever guess? Now, look, why don't you be a good girl and go on home? I do not want to be a good girl. Well, you might try it just this once. I like better to stay here and sing for you. Querido, la, 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 la. Look here. If you don't behave yourself, I'm going to put you over my knee and spank you. Now? 
And if Lazar finds out that you've I'm been not here... afraid of Lazar. He's a stupid fool. He believes everything I tell him. He must be. And if you send me away, I will tell him you made love to me, and then he will kill you. Oh, now, Cheetah, have a heart. For you, Cheetah's heart is very warm. No, I, I think you better go home. Kiss me. Well, if I, if I, if I kiss you, will you go? Uh, that depends on the kiss. Well, all right. One kiss and you're out. Is it a deal? One kiss and I'm out. So, this is how you behave when I'm away, huh? Oh, don't shoot, Let don't go. shoot! Now, wait a minute, Lazar. I can explain everything. Well, I hardly know this woman. I only met her today. Uh, but it's time enough for Cheetah. She was in your arms, senor. Well, I was trying to get her to go home. Oh, yes, senor. That is not the way I try to get a woman to go home. I think I kill you. Hey, hold everything! What's the idea? To steal my girl. For that, he died. Oh, you must be talking about some other unicorn. This one happens to be my husband. Your husband? Oh. And I've been here all the time. But I saw him kissing her. Go on, he hasn't got a good kiss in his system. She was kissing him. You mean Cheetah came here after your husband? I'll protect you, darling. Oh, that is not nice, dear. Davis is taking Greenwich's place. I don't know the lady. Thanks. Where did you come from? Aura Negra. All those miles and a knock-kneed mule. To tell anybody who might be interested that the police found that vulgar boatman of yours. Nice and dead. And they're hunting anybody who ever had anything to do with him or his gun running racket. So how much did they find out? The minute I heard the heat was on, I scrammed before they put me through the ringer. We gotta get these guns out of here and get them out fast. And none of that manana stuff. This is today. Well, that was nice going, Mrs. Davis. Well, don't go taking that wife angle seriously. Oh, that reminds me. That was a terrible build-up you gave me to cheat it. How do you know I wouldn't make a swell husband? Well, you'd at least keep a wife plenty busy. You can get yourself into more different kinds of jams in less time than anybody I ever heard of. Well, I had to go after the Russian, didn't I? I suppose you promised your mother you'd become a gun runner. Doesn't matter what happens to me, does it? And well, what mercy is ever going to do with you? Who's there? Jesus, let me fix. Land of ocean, what's happened? Lazar tried to kill me. Lazar, here? Henry, lock that door. Never mind lock the door. Lazar has gone to the hills to get his men to come back for machine guns. Machine guns? Yes, plenty guns, plenty bullets at International Warehouse. You phone for soldados so they catch him when he come back. She cannot love him anymore. What? Well, I can't believe it. Let me talk to that woman. Oh, Davis too, huh? That I can believe. Yeah, we'll take care of it right away. What's that about Davis? He smuggled a lot of machine guns out of town, right under your nose. Get me General Karina at the garrison. Hey, wait a minute. What if we get a truck and half a dozen good boys and clean up this job ourselves? We'll be in an awful spot if it doesn't work. Yeah, but if it does work and we get those guns and Lazier, we'll own this town. Never mind the General. That's the Irish spirit. Come on. Well, suppose either of you gentlemen have a spare folding cot in your pocket. Say, do you think the Hewitts would take her in for the night? I guess so. Want to remember to keep your mouth shut. Don't worry. If I wanted to tell what I know about men, I'd either be the richest or the deadest girl you ever saw. Where is it she would join? Well, come on. I'll take you. No. The less tie up there, the better. Just let her wander in like... I know. Just like I dropped off a mule. Here. I want to thank you, Vanna, for all you've done. Let's see if I've done it first. There's the house right down the street. Oh, thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night. You know, Court, there goes plenty of women. You cause plenty of trouble, too. I wish was there to get this off her hands. I'm worried. Say, how well do you know that girl? 
Can you trust her? With my life. That's what you're doing. And mine too. Everything's going to be all right, Mama. Who's there? I'm an American citizen. So am I. What part are you from? I'll way. Oh, well, let her in. Let her in quick. Bless my soul, what are you doing here? I rode off Mora Negra. I guess it came a little too oh, far. Oh, mercy, and at a time like this. Well, come in, child, quick. Henry, lock that door. We're expecting dreadful trouble tonight. Bandits. Lazare's going to raid the warehouse. Any minute now. I wish Harrigan would get here. It's been over an hour since they left Mora Negra. Harrigan? There's a truckload of armed men to nab Lazare red-handed. Not to mention a couple of our own tribe are over there in the warehouse right now. Are they on their way now? Well, they, they better be. Is there some place I could freshen up a little? Oh, yes. This will be your room right over here. Now, you try not to be too nervous. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> What's the idea? Oh, I don't know. That might come in handy if we get in trouble later on. Hey, look out. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Just happens to be blasting powder, you scratched your match, huh? Oh, so it is. Is that for Lazare, too? No, that's part of a legitimate supply for the road gang. Listen. It's all over but the shooting, boys, and you better not be here. I just got it from the Hewitts. Cheetah phone Harrigan. He's practically here. Break out a couple of those machine guns. Wait a minute, Court. Stay away from those guns. If Harrigan gets here before Lazare, we're sunk. My idea was to deliver those guns, not to use them on my own people. Well, if you think I'm going to take it alone because you're too yellow to put up a fight, you're crazy. If I'm going to take a rap, it's going to be for gun running, not for murder. All right, Davis. You asked for it. I wouldn't do that if I were you. You're under arrest. Keep track of these guys. I'll see if I can locate Hewitt and find a way to get him back to Ola Negra. I'll also leave some men here to watch out for Lazare. He's been tipped off. He won't come. That's where you're mistaken, my friend. Drop your gun. Five of you men go search the other room. Handle it. So, Mr. Court, you think you tricked me? How many men you bring with you? I can't hear you. Find out myself. One way to watch these men. If any of them try to get away, kill them. Pick up that machine gun. Pedro, you take the rest of the men, go outside. Bring these guns with you. The rest of you come with me. Handle it. Those are your own pals he's going out there to butcher. Is of any interest to you? Open the door. Follow me. Uh, no tricks, please. I'm not very smart in the head.
We'll never be able to stand another rush like that. Let's get back in the warehouse where we've got a better chance. Help Harrigan. Get him back in those barrels. Tex, come on, help me barricade this door. Come on, get down there, stay down. You know, we're hiding in dynamite. Hello! Inside there! What do you want? I make a deal with you. You let me have my machine guns, I let you live. What do you think we better do? Well, what's your answer? Just a minute. If he ever gets a hold of these machine guns, there'll be no stopping him. Right. I say, let's drop an egg on that dynamite and see the pretty fireworks. Here's to the 4th of July. Come on, Harrigan. Lazare! Yes? We're gonna take you up on your offer. You are very wise, senor. Open the door. Open it yourself! If you want your machine guns, come and get them! Break it down. For me, Tex. Thanks so much. That was beautiful. You're under arrest. Now, wait a minute, Carino. Now, I'm going on my hunt. Let's let's go, let me, you trouble. guys. You promised me. Let's well, go with them and see what it's all about. Yeah, these tin soldiers. Come on, let's go. All right. Count three. I'll take the fat one. Oh, no, you don't. If we have to spend our honeymoon in jail, we want privacy. All right, All right Harrigan, what's the big stop idea? Stop it, Woody. Stop it. Thanks, General. I'll handle this. Woody, I don't want to interfere with a honeymoon or anything like that, but I need a new field superintendent. Oh, not a chance. No, sir. We're fed up with this place. We're going back to the States. Woody, I need you. Oh, stop. You're breaking my heart. Look, how about a contract for a year? Double your old salary, living quarters for you and your wife, Plus a company car. No. Come on, honey, there's one boat we're not gonna miss. Yeah, I'm sorry to see you go, fella, but I guess I can take care of the fights I got started, all right? Fights? What fights? You've been holding out on me? What fights? Yeah. First of all, there's that fiddle player. Oh, down to the dock, he's nothing. Then there's the guy at the fish market says you're a dirty, low-down, yellow-bellied quitter. Quitter? Hey, look, guy. look, Woody, it's a chance of a lifetime. You sure it's the guy at the fish market? Well, honey, I... I guess there's an opportunity we can't very well afford to miss. I have the double salary and the car and the swell. Right, the fish market said I was a quitter, did he? Here's your contract. Well, this contract's made out to Mrs. Woody Davis. Certainly. You don't think I'm going to give him a contract, do you? Look, you're the only sane member of this family. You'll have to keep this lunatic going. Well, uh, it's uh, all settled then. We'll uh, play around for a couple of weeks, and then we'll be back on the job. He'll be to work first thing in the morning. Come on, darling.